<laughs> How would I describe Zachary Lee Hines II? I know that there's so much more to life than what I've experienced personally. That is really challenging for me to be to place a simple judgment on my own identity, knowing there's so much more of my life yet to discover. I can say that I'm happy to be present. I can say that I'm blessed to be alive. And I think the most beautiful parts about me are the things that I can't explain. It's like I live my life for those experiences that are beyond me, where God makes himself real. <laughs> hey man, let's, let's, let's kick it, man. Let's get it paid, let's make it happen. <laughs> run it back, run it back, run it back. I play the piano. And I taught myself. I started playing the piano when I was, when I was like four or five, six years old. My grandparents had a piano in their house, and I would play whenever I could. I would try to experiment. I wanted to hear myself think. When it comes to playing music and singing and performing, especially playing the piano, um, it's like I could hear it in my, I could hear it in my heart. I could hear it in my mind. I could hear it. I can, I can kind of like feel the emotion that I'm trying to express. And it's like words aren't enough, you know, my voice isn't enough to really express what I'm feeling. Especially when it comes to orchestration and different horns and the, the drums and all the rhythm. There's so much more that could be said that I can sing my song and use a few words to express the words of it. But the energy is coming with the horns and the orchestration is able to hit all the undertones and all the different things that I'm also feeling at the same time. The band forges is, is a different group of people every year. This is always changing. Right after the, um, after the, ya da da da. Forges is a reality play. I care not that. I'm going right into the verse. There's no break. We're in a time period now where everybody's videotaping everything, everyone's social mediaing everything. Anytime I'm performing or I'm on the scene, I'm doing in a show, someone's gonna take out the camera. You're collecting more footage of people to be entertained by. If I'm now, the deep part is, if I'm aware that I'm always being videotaped as an entertainer, then I know that there's a slight modicum of continuity that I can pay attention to in my work. I know that if you were to string all the instances of me being filmed together as a story, a story is told. I was sitting in my living room and I was like, it's time to make the show. People have been watching us perform for years, and I had a story to tell. My life experience is a narrative of our evolution. And so I tried to write the script. And I started arranging the parts of the song. You know, sitting in the room with the band, I'm trying to get their heads into the midst because I want them to be actors in this play. As performers, in this life, people that come to the show, these are actors in these performances. I need them to be more enlightened to that. And just like if it was a scene from the movie, I looked at one of my players and I was like, hey man, how do I tell you know, this story of mine? Where you can understand. Would you believe a single word? A single word, or only what you see? It's a vision of love brought to life by music, a voice on the wind that breathes, a ripple in time, may still for a moment. We start at the end. Cool. The introduction isn't the first song I've written for the band and with the band at all, by a long shot. It's like the third third song on my 13th album I'm working on right now. I do at least one album every year. But I know that this is the best I've been able to come to as far as orchestration goes. 
And it's strong enough peace that if someone would to know nothing about me and they hear that, they'd be convinced that I'm someone they need to know in a time period where people are moving too fast. I want to create something that's so definitive that it makes you put your phone down, that it makes you forget about all this illusory stuff, that makes you want to step out of the simulation, you know, and remember what God created for us. Remember the world that we really live and live in. We're trying to evolve the creative culture in this region. We're trying to bring the film industry to fore in this region. We want all the talent that people have from Virginia to feel home here. But if no one's treating it like it's home, how does any youth know that it's possible? When it came to creating fortresses, it was a time period of my life where my community wanted my help. I was in Newport News at the Moton Theater. And, there, and three, four times a week, I would allow anyone to come and we would build and create music, create songs, whoever was there. Instrumentalist, dancer, poet, actress, whatever. When we was in the Moton Theater, it was during a time period where like the elders are the ones that own the building in downtown Newport News, they own that building. And we did our best to try to create interest and knowledge of cultural viability in the area. But then the music that we were creating and making in that time must have been pretty cool because people wanted to hear more of it. Being able to be in the room with you, even though I'm far away or I'm somewhere else, you know, I can express my love for everyone. I can express my desire to unify us. And it really proves itself to be true when I'm creating instrumental music and a poet can write a poem or a singer can write a song that falls right in line with how I was feeling when I was making it.